Hey, what's up, guys? It's DJ New, and Update of Mons been released for the Mod Hut for Farm Sim 22. In total, we got 30 Mons today, 19 new for all platforms, and 7 updates. And PC Mac players have 3 new and 1 update. We're going to load up each Mon in the store, look at its customization and features, and of course, we will review every Mod that got an update today. And yes, that's a fire truck in front of us. Timestamps are linked below. Let's do it. Starting off today with something I thought we would never see. A fire truck, the Lizard Turntable Ladder 2012 CC. Uh, these are from the same creators of the map Waldstattenton, so you guys can see it right there. Uh, it is a German map, and it's also a PC and Mac only map, if I remember correctly. We got 205 horsepower on here, manual transmission, 490 liters of fuel, 32 mile an hour, and weighs 16.4 tons. As far as the blue light variant, here we have the modern blue light, the old blue light, and then for the foiling, we've got a couple different things through here, um, or you can uh, just kind of <laughs> well, no, not no debranding available. Um, this is not an American one. This is a European setup. And we got a couple different stuff right through there as well. So what I want to do is I want to load this into the store and take a look at it, or at least into the game, and maybe play with it a little bit. So we'll jump in here. Does it have any fill type? Diesel looks to be the only one. So there is that. Help window. I need you. Let's go ahead and unfold. Ooh. <laughs> Check that out. So it's interesting. Whenever we're unfolding, you see the camera move right there from the front to the back? That happens automatically. So now we have full control over. Oh, yes, sir. <laughs> Let's see. We can open cover. Oh, nope. I'm good. Uh, <laughs> then we've got. Oh, that, that goes up a lot. Oh, um, I can't zoom my camera out far enough to see that. Let's let's bring it down and see how far out that is. Goodness! Is it still going? Nope, that's, that's as far as it goes. And it is moving as well. Is there anything else that we can control? It looks like we've got an openable door and the sides can be opened up as well. That's kind of cool. Check that out. All right, well, let's jump out of there. Automated door. Cool, cool, cool. All right, well, climbing this might be a a bit of a chore. <laughs> I feel like an idiot. There we go. We got it. Uh, let's see. Slowly, ever so slowly. Oh, I'm going to get sick. Let's see if we get into the... the oh, come on. Uh, well, it's doable. That's all I can say. I'm in it. <laughs> Doesn't look like we're able to control anything up here, but we're we're here. This is really, really high up for a mod. All right, let's get down. Yay! When you're ready to fold up, it will automatically bring everything back down for you. It will fold it all up, and we're ready to go. And we got some flashy blue lights. Let's see. We'll turn on our side markers. Not too bad. Lights all around. Looking good, man. Looking good. For a while now, players have been asking for a big feed mixer that you guys can use to mix up a bunch of stuff. And that's not what this is. This is something that will pick up only from the ground and then will tip via the sides right through there. Um, this is kind of based off of, I would assume, the one in base game, the feed mixer. However, um, we've got a tub on the top. you got different wheel options, pretty much every wheel option you can think of minus track. So... That's kind of nice, but we have different uh, stuff on the top there, as you guys can see, but it's really a tipper that picks stuff up from the ground. So that's something to know. We also have different designs there as well, so you guys can pick through there. Uh, attachments, we can throw a trailer hitch on the back. Fill levels, this is kind of neat. So it's 25, 50, or 100,000 liters. But again, this is just for getting the stuff off the ground. So if you're feeding your cattle silage out of a silage bunker, for example, this would be great for that, but you're not going to be able to mix it in the tub. So there is that as well. And as you can see through here, we have a lot of different colors. So your main color is going to be the very front. This is your color palette for like literally everything. I'll just change this to something a little bit brighter so you can see. Um, we also have your design color, which is going to be for the overall bit right there. Maybe we'll change it to something else. Blue works great. Outer uh, details, 
you can see we've got some orange somewhere on here i'm sure <laughs> arm details we've got green there on the side and then rims are rims at the end of the day pretty nasty color choice through there but you guys can make it look very good on your own nonetheless there you go, the Lizard Sadie. Here's another mod that we've been waiting on, the Lizard Trailed Windrower. So we've got the update to the Baylor pack that's uh, out today. We'll talk about that later in the video. We also had the front windrow that got updated a few days ago, and now the trailed version is here. What this is, is a windrow that's got a trailer hitch and a PTO. It's got PTO pass through with another trailer hitch, different types of trailers. So whatever you're gonna hook up to, and you can even put a three point adapter on the back of that and use that as well. Now, this requires 150 horsepower for the 10.3 meter working with version. Then we have a 12 meter, which requires 180. 16 meter, which will unfold to 240 horsepower required. And 350 horsepower required for the 20 meter version 350 horsepower by itself that's insane uh we also have uh, different wheels and rudestein bkt michelin nookian trilobog so we got a lot of different tire options you guys could choose what you like brand decals this is interesting so up here at the very top of your screen you can see we've got lizard there we can swap that over to case Kloss, fent john deere crone kubota k brand massey ferguson new holland Pertinger or nothing. So you could change that up uh, however you like. We do have working lights you can throw on there and see the whole thing. And then we do have a plethora of wheel, co or wheel color, just color options in general. Here you can see we've got lizard, white, silver, light gray, black, but we also have John Deere yellow, JCB. We have New Holland yellow, which is not a base color. We've also got Pertinger yellow and Kubota and Fent Kloss red, Case IH Hardy, Pertinger red, K brand. We've got all of these different branded bits through here, and we've even got some chrome stuff as well. So you could truly, truly change this up between the chassis, the windrow, the model itself, and the rims. They can all be different colors. It, can you tell I'm excited? Go, go, go. Go download this. Check it out. Next up, we've got the Horse Toronto 3FX. This will hold 200 liters of, I believe, fertilizer. No seed. Hey, hey, hey. It'll do grass cover crop, and it'll also do canola. So there is that. 140 horsepower required at 3 meter spread and 9 miles an hour. Uh, just, just start with on the outside, it's a 3 meter cultivator. But we could throw the APV on top, and now it becomes a direct drill, which is kind of cool. The tines could be changed up. You got a couple different versions there. Scrapers. You could change those up and we've got different uh, types on the top so they can either be uh, shear bolts or terra grip it's kind of a cool cool little setup right there next is the lizard slurry 2700 this holds 2700 liters of slurry or digestate as you guys can see right there 2.5 ton weight by itself 30 horsepower is required at 9 miles per hour. Now, we do have a uh, wheel brands from Trelleborg, BKT, Vrystein, Lizard, Michelin, back in again. And you can change up the main color, which is nice. It will also change up the um, hubs, but no rim color. Again, be aware of that. Now, I'm not quite sure. It says, at least on the website, this has a 9 meter working width. So, it is a slurry spreader. Be aware of that. Next up, the Lizard RDC 4500. Not to be confused with RDC FS19. was the Farms of 19 map? This right here, we got different color options. This is a roller. Ah, yeah, from Hulse Modding. 80 horsepower is required when unfolded. 4.5 meter working with it. 13 miles per hour. It's pretty cheap as well. 5,500 bucks. Next up, we got a new trailer for you. The Lizard GVW J4027. This uh, will... <laughs> it kind of looks like the Bachman trailer, and it may even be the Bachman trailer, just without any sides or a back on it. We do have different uh, wheel options on here, though. We got a lizard, which is kind of nice to see. No uh, color options whatsoever. It weighs about three quarters of a ton by itself. Otherwise, it's not a whole lot to it. So this mod came out, I believe, yesterday for PC and Mac players. However, today, I believe, it is out now for all platforms. It actually is showing as a new mod so be aware of that it is kind of a new mod at the end of the day pc players this should just be good it's still version one and i'm fairly positive this is exactly the same version so if you guys are looking for a uh, front shield little logo to put on the front of your tractor 
it's here. It's right here. Next up, we have the weight 2500, 1800, 1200. This is a collection of different weights through here. And as you can see, we've got different branding for these. We'll just take a look at the 1200 right now. We got John Deere, John Deere 2, which I love that. Dewey's Far, Case IH, Challenger, Kloss, Fent, Fiat, JCB, Kubota, Landini, nice, getting some love. Lindner, Massey Ferguson, McCormick, and New Holland. Stara, Steyer, Valtra, Zetor, and back end. So uh, what I'm seeing here is you have to choose a brand. That's what I'm seeing here. We've got guides on there, and then we have a couple different lighting options as well, which is nice. Plus, we have unlimited power when it comes to colors on here. So that is pretty cool as well. Each one of these are going to see the exact same options. No matter what you go with, it's just bigger weights. Again, available in 1,200, 1,800, and 2,500 kilograms. Next up, we got the old rusty stone weight. 600 kilograms on here. We have rusty and old or uh, restored new. And then we also have brand new. So that's kind of cool. Could show its age a little bit. Different versions, different colors through here. And it even says on the front... 600 kg so you know what it is and we got some placeables for you guys as well there's actually a, a lot of them i think there's like 10 or something like that so first up the brazilian pig sty here you can raise your pigs and do whatever you need to do with well pigs in the game 43 um little baby piggies to start with there you go 43 costs you twenty four thousand dollars and it will be 25 bucks a day next up we got a floating building this is a, a simple placeable vehicle workshop um, as you can tell, um, under here, now that I'm in it, I uh, can't jump either. So you've got these channels that run down, and for some reason, I'm not able to get this to be flat, like flat ground. And I'm also falling through quite a few of the spots, as you can tell. So, uh, I'm sure it's not supposed to be like that, but, but it, it is like that for me. <laughs> And for me, but once we get inside, we're, we're able to, to kind of do things a little bit easier. And as you can tell, uh, it is not the way that it looked on the outside. On the inside. We do have easy, easy doors to open and close. And we've got a nice long area through here as well. Four different bays where you guys can park up and do what you need to do. Each with a little bit of different stuff around towards the side and things like that. We also have areas right here, of course, to the side of the entire building, and we've got an office upstairs as well. What are we playing? Farm Sim 22. Love it. Anything cool written on these? Uh, looks like they're all looks like they're all both the same, aren't they? Yeah, they're both the same. Clever Motors. Now, this is super epic. I will tell you that. We talked about this in Farm Sim News a little bit this morning. So if you guys saw that, uh, then you've already gotten a sneak peek at this. However, uh, just be aware, it might do this on your map. Next up, we have the Machine Shed with Workshop. So we've got a couple different areas through here. Kind of reminds me of Green River FS17 placeables a little bit. So here's your uh, workshop. Massive, massive area inside right here. Three doors to open up. And we've got a singular open space here on the left-hand side where you guys might even be able to put some crops depending on uh, how the collisions are, which they seem pretty good. Not too bad. I like that. That's not all. We're going to continue the big haul placeables going with the big storage haul for 336 thousand dollars We've got a small area right here that's got a shop inside. So that's kind of cool. We've got a door here that leads to the rest of the shop with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight garage doors across the front. Again, very deep. So you guys can probably park in a smaller uh, semi truck or maybe a, uh, just the trailer for it through here. Definitely get a hold of a bunch of tractors. And then we've got an area around the back right there. Oh, there's, there's a lot going on here. There's a lot going on. For console players, this will use the left stick down button for the lights. I know some use that, some use the B button, or, um, you know, the back button. This one doesn't. That's cool. Next up, we have the Shed with Passage. So there's two configurations. We got a closed version and we got an open version. We'll take a look at the open version first. Well, it's just a shed with some open areas. Um, definitely some low, uh, low res textures there on the sides, but nothing really to complain about. Let's head over here 
and take a look at this version. Looks like it's similar, but they've just put up some uh, metal siding. And it looks to be about it. Yeah, so there you go. Next up, got a couple houses. First one is the Brick Farm House, House of Red Brick. And you guys can sleep here and change your clothing, which is very, very nice. This is not a house that you can go in, so it is really just meant to be looked at and go, ooh, ah. Does look very good on the outside, though. And another farmhouse, just called, well, farmhouse. Residential farmhouse with sleeping function. It doesn't look like there's any way, uh, no wardrobe, nothing like that and can't go in. Next to last new one for all platforms today is going to be the farm entrance. There's four different entrances right here. So we have two with gates. These are very large as well. So shouldn't have any, any trouble getting combine harvesters through there. We've also got a version here, which uh, I don't know if it dug that down on its own or brought it back up. I'm not quite sure. And then we got a version here that's kind of dug down there as well. Um, not sure if that was that or it was a different shed. Nonetheless, uh, I do know that these look incredibly good and have been modeled very well. And your last new mod for all platforms today is the Custom Production Sawmill from BKE Mods and RAR. Uh, this is, uh, well, it's a sawmill at the end of the day. We've got quite a few different spots around here. So let's pop over and let's take a look and see exactly what we could do here. Because there's a lot of really cool stuff. So, uh, of course, I have the... Um, Productions revamp turned on because there's a PC mod that came out today with that. So we'll do it the old fashioned way. Wooden planks, wooden planks, and furniture wood. So we got a couple different ways that we can uh, get planks. We have 5,000 liters of wood chips in. I'm guessing that's particle board. Makes sense. And then we've got a wood in, which gives us planks and wood chips. And then we've got furniture as well. So wood in, and then we've got a thousand liters plus. Uh, 15 or 0.15 liters of wood chips. So very cool. Quite a few different uh, inputs and outputs there. Making our way into mod updates for all platforms. We'll start with the map. Awesome. Version 1.1. 1 1. Some bugs are fixed. Review the village. Liquid manure is now sellable at the biogas plant. Added more farmlands. Reworked of some fields. Some of the small decoration farms are now sellable to be rebuilt by yourself. Some updates to the environment and much more. A new save game is required. Next up, the John Deere 6010 series version 2. A four-cylinder version has been added and some details have been added. Next up, a pack of balers with windrow version 3. They've added three new rake sizes for 12, 16, and 20 meter. Up to 64 configurations for colors, balers, a configuration stickers different brands and optional working lights and the ends since we've got the update and it's a big update let's take a look at it real quick we'll load up the Kloss version right here as you can see we have different versions now so we have the different models so we have 10.3 meter 12 meter 16 <laughs> and 20 meters let's go my dudes uh, they also added a bunch of color options so here are your color options that's a lot of John Deere in there. Well, I say a lot of John Deere. Uh, there's like two or three. There you go. Also, configuration of stickers. So we'll take a look at the sticker logo. If I can uh, zoom in enough to see it. So there you go. Lizard in the front of your screen. We also have Case IH, Kloss, Fint, John Deere on the Kloss, uh, Chrome, Kubota, K Branded, Massey Ferguson, New Holland, Puttinger, or Nana. Uh, for this one, I'm guessing you probably want to go with Kloss, since it's a Kloss Baylor. So that's pretty cool. And optional working lights. Yep. Yes, please. And we have that exact thing on, well, everything. Next update is Mobile Utilities from Yoast Modding version 1.2. He's added Platinum DLC container support to the mobile wood selling point. Next, the Burzman Carex 370S version 101. Added new rims and BPW hub and fix the ref points for the harvester. Next to last update for all platforms is the Lizard Z643 Bulko version 101. Changed several models, added the possibility of adjusting the drawbar, and some bugs have been squished. And your last update for all platforms is going to be the Harvester Front Shield version 101. Mod description increased to 67, added the ability to... Wait, mod description increased to 67? We're on 71 now. What in the world? They've also added the ability to carry the shield by hand. Screw decals have been added and added a company logo to the frame. Call me crazy. Didn't... Hasn't that update been out for a while? I don't know. All right, making our way into new ones for PC and Mac players. We got three. The first one is the Unterhag 11 
400. This is a bell spike, hooks up via three point, and we've got a couple different options red, orange, and black. It'll hold two round bells or square bells, whatever. Next up is the custom panels. You see this little panel that appears and reappears with the lines right here? So this allows you guys to unfold, fold, activate, lower, raise, empty to ground, um, to remove the, or not empty the object, empty the, uh, you know, whatever, the tip it. Whatever's in it, dump it out on the ground. As you can see, different stuff right through there. At least for this, we have PTO up and down, uh, a trailer, and then a hitch. So I've got the Crone Swandro back there. They do have a list of things that they say, hey, do this or do, do that. Use it with these things. So as you can see, here's some of the features. Fold, unfold, activate, deactivate, raise, lower, empty on the ground, and empty in the object suitable vehicles for this with a fin favored 500 voucher g series massey or sorry well massey 6700s john deere 6m john deere 6r the 4755 mccormick we got a new holland t7 fin 900 and the black beauty the fint 900 and the challenger 700 we also have tools that are suitable for this as well Crown Swadro, we got the K brand GA, Flegel PFW, uh, Hardy 5200, Bergman 6240, and Silo King Premium. So all of those will work together. And then once you've done all that, you can actually go ahead and control said things and they will do what they need to do. It's kind of cool. I like that. Now, I think there's one on the outside here as well. If we follow the worms along through there to there i thought maybe there would be something on the side i think there's one or two other pieces at least from the screenshots that we saw there on the side but i don't see anything at least on this machine nonetheless i think this is kind of cool you don't have to do anything and it's just universal and your last one is the pallet and bell warehouse revamp so you may know that john wayne the creator of this already has the pallet and barrel warehouse can't say those words even one time slow um but this is the production revamp version this can store and outsource pallets and bells uh production pallets big bags um bells of straw hay cotton etc stuff like that also uses the production revamp and it's built into uh to the functionality so they do say that there are some known bugs with this on pallet storing there's a rounding error in the game sometimes which loses one liter of the product that also happened a lot with other stuff so it's not just this this leads to incomplete palette once you outsource all of one type so just be aware of that you can see right here storage is empty but it would tell us exactly what it was and from there we can tell it what to do and your one and only mod update for pc and mac players is the easy development controls version 1.3.0.2 objects page platinum expansion tree types will be added to add log feature when available and the italian translations have been added well guys that is it for today's new mod video i hope you've enjoyed it if you did drop a like get subscribed if you're new and join the go ham fam make sure your notification bells are on as well that way you never miss daily farming simulator videos like this here on the channel today is farm sim show day we've got the farming simulator podcast uh, show hosted by myself with clutch simulations today 3 p.m eastern hope to see you there uh we'll see you later is this awkward yeah it's awkward we'll just move along Slowly back away, back away from the microphone. Bye. <laughs>